hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be turning our sunroom into our media theater room we pretty much use this room all the time it is pretty much our sitting room media room right now but by the weather changing the sun beams in this room so bad till we can barely sit out here in the summer months so yeah we'll be turning it into a theater room it is right now just uh, pretty much suits us for every need is the kids playroom so we're gonna go ahead and get this video started don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys for watching okay so I'm gonna start out by removing some things that I should have removed um, uh, maybe a few years ago uh, I had some patio lights up that should have been taken down maybe three summers ago when we had a, a summer event out here I have Christmas lights that has been up for the past few years and they definitely should have been taken down. I have some curtains in the ceiling that um, are very old and they should have been taken down as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all this stuff down, remove some stuff around. I'm not going to take out the chairs because we will be using those chairs because I look for theater chairs, but they are super expensive. And the ones that I really liked, they were affordable, but there were too many bad reviews on them so we're going to go ahead and stick with our patio chairs for right now but we will be getting uh, recliner chairs um in the future so make sure you guys subscribe so you can see any updates that we do to this room we're going to start out with putting up the blackout curtains and y'all i was so disappointed with these curtains they were like you can see pretty much see straight through them so i got them from roses they were $17.99 which hmm, for four curtains i i, I just should have knew better but i don't recommend these because you will have to put up something else in front of them just to help block out the light i did the best that i could i ended up putting up um some old black fabric and some old curtains that i had i just stapled them uh to the boards and then i put the curtains on a rod and put them up we already have a tarp up to help keep out some of the sunlight, so I will be leaving it up because I'm telling y'all, this is truly a sunroom. You will cook in here without any um, any protection during the summer months. It, it's, oh, it's, it's terrible. And guys, at this moment is when I felt so defeated. I started to pack up these little cheap behind thin curtains and take them back to Roses, but I wanted to get this project done, so I had to work with what I had. Okay, so this side of the sunroom took 12 uh, curtain panels. Now, I'm sure if you buy the more um, expensive curtain panels, it won't take that many. And the length of the sunroom is 20 feet long. So, yeah. Oh, y'all do not buy the cheap ones. 
So here is everything just, you know, kind of everywhere. Um, this is the other side that I have to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on this side that's uh, about in between the doors. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my storage rack out here in the sunroom. And I hide everything by putting up these sheer curtains. So I'm going to go ahead and remove everything. And the majority of everything that on here, I took it to a Goodwill. And some of the other things that I wanted to keep, I just added them to my other storage areas. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on my last wall that I need to cover with the curtain panels. And I did have to put up some sheer curtains before putting up the curtains that will be like on the outside. And these were very thin as well. Um, it, there was no point of putting these up. I should have just went and bought some black uh, fabric from Walmart or um, Hobby Lobby and put that up first because I'm just stapling this up on the boards. But um, I wouldn't recommend these either. They came from... I think I got these from Family Dollar and they are very thin, very see-through, so don't buy these either. Okay, so here's another mistake that I made. Um, I went back to Rosa's to get some more curtains and they didn't have any more. I didn't feel like going to ride over to another city to get some more curtains. So I got a different brand. And when I say garbage, so guys, it is just best. If you're gonna ever do anything like this to cover up windows, um, you know, with the movie uh, theater theme, do not buy any cheap curtains because this, mm -mm. It, it, no, this is no.
All right, so all of the curtains are up. I didn't do the door yet because I needed the light to come in. I needed to see. And, oh my God, the dust on this plant. Oh, let me take care of that. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move on to putting up the TV because the curtains are done. Okay, so I ended up getting the Hisense Roku TV, the 40 inch from Walmart, and it shows really, really good. So I think it was a good purchase. It was recommended to us by Chilling with the Crowders um, YouTube channel. So yeah, it was a good purchase. And then I also ended up getting the um, the TV stand from, not the TV stand, but the TV um, mount from Amazon. While Tim sets up the TV mount, I'm going to go ahead and program the TV. And Chloe, I don't know what, what she thought was going on, but apparently she was afraid of the little dog that was on the TV. Oh, oh my poor baby. We removed the old TV and we're going to fill in the spaces that didn't have brick in them with probably just some wood pieces right now. And we'll get back to this project another day. Moving on to lighting, I purchased the lighting, the LED lighting from Amazon. I purchased two boxes. One uh, box was 50 feet and the other was 60 feet. And I also had to buy a little uh, pack of those connectors because the lighting was so long till I needed the, the connectors to connect so that it will be on one cord. So yeah. Now for the flooring, the green grass carpet was okay, but we kind of wanted to give it a different vibe from just being a regular sunroom. We wanted to kind of add a different floor to give it the media feel. And we got these um, vinyl floor rolls from Roses as well. They were $20 each. Now that the flooring is done, we're gonna add a little console table to fit up under the TV because it looks so lonely over there. So these are some pieces of wood that Tim cut out for me and I'm gonna go ahead and put it together.
I also forgot to mention that I had to add some fabric on the end of this wall at the bottom of the curtains because they weren't long enough. Alright, it is the next day and I had to run by Ross and buy another little area rug because the one that I had wasn't long enough to fit up under all six of the chairs. So I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating and I'm going to show you guys the final reveal. Alright, so here is the before as a sunroom. And here is the after. Guys, we love it. It actually turned out better than we thought because we never thought that we would get this room this dark with just it being a room full of windows. So it turned out perfect for us. Now there are a few touches that we will add in the future as far as the pictures we want the movie theater pictures we want just this whole space to be movie theatered out like when you walk in you at the cinema so we have to get some final touches for that we will end up getting the um, recliner chairs because I don't know how long we can sit in these chairs and be comfortable without having to get up I, like I want to sit out here and I want to go to sleep like I want my husband to come and get me like come and get in the bed that's the vibe that I want And I am filming this while it is still daylight because I wanted you to see how dark the room actually got. And I need to add one more curtain panel here because I don't want that much light coming in through this area. So I'll be adding another panel there. And yeah, guys, we absolutely love, love, love it. And I love all of the settings on the remote. You have different colors that you can change it to. And it's just so cute. So guys, I'm going to turn off the TV and also the LED lights to let you see how dark it actually gets in here with no lights on. I think the only thing that I'm going to leave, yeah, I'm going to leave the little fireplace on. And you guys can see how dark it really is. And again, this is daylight time, so it is pitch black out here. Whenever we want a little sunlight to come in, we just slide the curtain back that I put up on the door. I just used two curtain rods and put the curtain up and here is the daylight so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye